What's going on, YouTube? It's the man, the myth, the legend himself. Jair was okay back in the motherfucking building. Got a little bit of a haircut, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> looking kind of fresh. I'm trying to get this lighting right, but it is what it is. I like the extra sunlight, because why not? But you see the title of this video? You should always display gratitude. You know why? Because there's always somebody who's doing something in your life, whether you acknowledge it or not, that deserves gratitude and respect for what they've done for you. I literally just got moving. I literally just got done moving. My uh, One of my best friends of all time's parents, helping them out all today. You know what I'm saying? And it felt really good. It feels good to give back. You know what I mean? Being good to good people. You should be good to people regardless of whether they're good to you or not because you shouldn't let anybody change your character. That's a rule, right? But at the end of the day, never, ever, ever, this is the premise of the video, never, ever, ever, ever forget those who have done good for you. And you shouldn't feel entitled to do something for someone just because they've done good to you but you should just naturally want to do it just because of who they are and just because you know that they love you. You know what I'm saying? And that they care for you. You feel me? Like there's been too many times, whether I want to acknowledge it or not, that there has been good that has been done in my life where people honestly didn't have to do what they did. Don't ever take that stuff for granted. Don't ever take people's kindness for granted because nobody owes you shit. Remember that. Nobody is forced to do anything in this world. Free will is given by God and God is the supreme being of this universe. He doesn't even force you to do anything. So let alone humans. Even if you had shitty parents, bro, they're shittier. You know what I'm saying? They didn't kill you. <laughs> they didn't murder you, right? They didn't molest you. You know what I'm saying? You got to look at the good things in life because I'm telling you, there is a million and one things that you could just sit around and think about for the rest of your life till the day that you fucking die about how bad life is and how this could have went better and how that could have went better and how this person should have treated you nice. You can't control anybody else but yourself. So it's stupid to worry about shit like that. You got to understand that everything in this life is a gift. You do not deserve anything. Other than the things that you work for. So if anybody gives you a handout, if anybody does anything extra for you, if anybody goes that extra mile, honor them. Because God is going to honor you back for doing so. And those are the facts. And plus, it's just common sense, bro. If somebody is constantly pouring into your life and they're displaying that they're real and that they're down for you, give them some grace. You know what I'm saying? Be thankful that they're in your life because they don't have to be in your life. They don't have to do those nice things. That's why you should always display gratitude because anything that you put out into the universe is going to be given right back to you. 100%. So if you want to get cheated on, think it's cool to be cheating. That's just what it is. You can think I'm crazy or not. I don't really care. I'm always going to put my best foot forward. Morals in your character are biggest thing that you need to focus on developing in your entire life because that will lead to success or your greatest demise. Because at the end of the day, your character is developed by your habits and your habits are developed by your mindsets. Don't be a fuck up. It's not that hard. Just continue to move forward. And I'm telling you, watch how much you're going to be blessed in your life just from being a blessing to other people, just for not responding to foolishness, just for being mindful of other people's whereabouts and where they stand in their life. I'm just telling you, be more mindful of that stuff. Because at the end of the day, bro, when we all pass on and we all get judged for all of our character and everything that we've ever done on this planet, you want to be as blameless as possible. 
not saying that you want to do it for that reason. But why be a fucked up person? <laughs> that's that's my question. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm perfect. I have my days where I just feel like, man, you know, fuck everybody. Fuck this world. You can think about that all you want to. But at the end of the day, there are good people out there. Every single person on this planet has a duty to better another person's life. That is why we are all here, is to literally better each other. And if you're not doing that, then you're not really on your purpose. That's just what it is. It's like life is so much bigger than making money and fucking hoes and like all the stupid shit that the media tries to push. So much bigger than this. That's why you have to think for yourself. That's why you have to question everything. Because once you question everything, you'll eventually find the answers. Seek and you shall find. That's facts. Finding a real true friend. That's like finding a fucking diamond. Real talk. Most of these people out here are just carbon copies of each other. Living a phony life. Chasing after egotistical things that don't even fucking matter. Feeling like they have to conform to society because they feel like that's just what it is. Because whether you realize it or not, there are so many people that are watching your every single move and you don't even realize it. And if you fuck up, you never know where that will lead somebody else. Because your life is not just about you. It's about a legacy. Anyways, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Do all that shit. I'm out. Peace.